If you've watched any of my other canning videos, then I've talked about these two All-American canners before, and they're super old, but I got them at, one, this one came from an auction, and then this one came from a family friend. I really wanted to work on cleaning them up today because I did take them and have them tested, and they do work. Everything on them works just fine. The only thing that was recommended was that I do update the attachments just because they are so old. But so the dial gauge and then the petcocks swap those out for the newer vents and also the weighted gauge. So I'll eventually do that. But now that I know they work, I just want to work on cleaning them up. And whenever I get the money, I'll get the different attachments that I need for it. But for now, I can use them as water bath canners. So that's what I'm going to do, especially this one because it is so big and it is nice because you can do a lot at once. But I do want to clean it up because obviously they're tarnished a little bit. They've been setting somewhere. This one was in an old house and then this one, I don't know where it came from. I do want to see if I can get any of it cleaned off. And I want to check for pitting on the inside of the canner because if it does have pitting, you're not really supposed to use them. And I do just want to say that I have other canners that I could use. I have several of the Presto canners and I do like them. I like the weighted gauge better than the dial, but I just love canners and I love old things. So I want to try and just fix these up and get them back in working order and use them. Especially this one just because, like I said, it can do double quarts, so it is really nice. This one compared to today, I think it's called the All-American 941 or 942. You can Google it for yourself, but I believe this one is a 41 quart. So it's either 41 or 42, I cannot remember. But I do know that it's like $650 to buy new, so I will definitely put the work in to fixing this up. It saves a lot. $650 is a lot of money for a canner. So I've wanted one that can do double quarts for a really long time. And so I'm excited to finally have one that can. And these will only be used outside just because they are incredibly heavy. This one at least weighs 50 pounds on its own. It is so heavy. So trying to lift this full of jars, it's impossible. Ben cannot even do it. So it is just crazy, crazy heavy. So I would not put this on my stove back there. So my vintage electric stove, I would not put these on there just because they are so heavy. It's at least like 20 pounds or so. Like it is pretty heavy. It is just much heavier compared to the Presto. So in here on my stove, whenever I do canning, I will still use my Prestos just because they're a thinner material now. But as you can tell, this one is from the 1950s and it has held up great. There's nothing wrong with it. The lid is just flipped over and it still has all the original attachments to it. So even though I plan on updating these canners, I'm gonna keep all the original attachments. There's really no reason to update them other than they just recommended that we update them and get the new dial gauge. This one could use a new dial gauge. It's pretty rusted on the inside and kind of hard to see. But our main goal today is to just get these cleaned up as much as we can. I only have like half a bottle of the Barkeepers and then half a bottle of the Crud Cutter. And I'm trying not to go to the store. So we will see how far this takes us. And I may have to do this video in two parts if I can't get it all clean today.
As you can tell after a lot of scrubbing that they are still patinaed. I wasn't able to get all of it off but that wasn't really my goal. I just wanted to make sure they were thoroughly cleaned and down here in the bottom of the canner there is a lot of hard water buildup and you can tell it's hard water buildup based on the line of where that is typically about three quarts of water and how full it would be in the bottom of every canner. So both of them have that. This one's still a little bit wet, so that's what the dark spots are. But this one also has that mineral buildup from the water. Overall, I'm thoroughly pleased with how well they cleaned up. Now I just need to get the top attachments replaced so that I can use them as pressure canners.